What's going on guys? We're back and we're going to do some nether adventuring today. I've got a silk touch pick on me, about four stacks of cobble, and we got some zombie pigmen over here that just want to hang out and be friends. So I think I'm gonna break a hole in this wall. And we're gonna kinda go until we find something. Um but there is something I forgot to grab. So we'll have to go back and grab that. I forgot to grab my potions of fire resistance that are in my ender chest. Because clearly that's some important stuff for us to take with us. So, I don't think I have any down here. I think there's a potion in here, but I don't think it's fire resistance now. A few other blocks in there. All right, so let's head upstairs again. Uh, contemplating on how lazy I want to be if I just want to enter Pearl up here and then walk up this shaky steps. Like, I feel like I'm, like, wobbling. All right, I'm going to grab three potions of fire resistance, and they will be for emergencies. I don't really have enough spots on my bar. I don't need a shovel on my bar. Put the second. Uh, you know, I like the pick over there. I'll put the fire resistance over there. Food. Cool. And then if I get in trouble, if I fall, I can always just uh, drink some potions and be happy again. <laughs> All right. Let's head back down here. Now that we have everything. And try this again. So we're going to dig through that wall until we find a... Uh, an opening. Hopefully it won't take all that long, but who knows. Um, for the time being, we'll use these blocks as building blocks. Just to fill in holes, because one click kills... I do have to be careful though because with those little leg spikes and whatnot. Um, nah, I'm not happy with that one. But we'll be careful. <laughs> cool. Let's uh, let's mark this with uh my usual marking something like that so that we know that we've been here before and we can find our way back because everything in the nether looks the same I guess I don't need to do those underground those are usually just so that if a gas blows up the cobble still stays there Would you look at that? That's impressive. It's a big old thing of glowstone over there. But we want to find some strongholds too if we can. I don't know how much of this is newly generated and how much of this is really, really old, but. seems like the better option rather than wasting all that cobble that I have because I'm really not in in excess of cobble at the moment. Mm, I want to do this one lower. I want to start it here and build a little platform. But I am going to record all of this. This episode is basically going to be me gathering some glory glowstone just because it is dangerous. But I'll probably.
probably make a montage after this first one. I just wanted to find my bearings first so that I have video to go back on to if I get lost somewhere. Let's go out one more. Here, Gast. Don't see him yet. So we need about a stack, and we're going to need like four stacks of glowstone, maybe quite a bit. So we're going to be out here for a while harvesting this. But we hit a good little patch. Let's get one more, and then head over a few blocks. Um, let's see, we gotta get out a few more blocks. We should be just about good. Oh, wrong one. No, we lost one. Oh well. Did we lose that one too? No, we got it. Oh, right. Ooh, doo -doo -doo. <laughs> no, no, no. Not going to fall there. What do we got over here? Just lava, it looks like. Didn't know if there might be some more glowstone around here. It doesn't look like it. I don't want to go grab that other patch, because it's not that big of a patch. So, I'll head back around here. Like I said, I don't want to travel an extreme distance from the pathways that I know. <sighs> nope. I need to weigh the risks and rewards of doing this. Like that one might be worth risking some fall damage from. That's a big old patch up there. Okay, let me put a torch up here so that I know. A cobble and a torch so that I can see it better. It's going to be something I need to pillar up to. And then build a cobble platform out of. So, it's again building blocks will be these. Hopefully we don't see anything. Now this one's dangerous. I'm going to continue recording this. I've had to have been over here before. I really can't be that far from my normal. A little bit more. gonna go up and I'm gonna just do that. I should be able to access everywhere below this without much problem at all. Just a 
a little bit. Wonderful. Saving some cobble too. Let's see how much glowstone we have after this adventure. After that one there. Let's see if we've got a good bit. We should, I mean, picking up a ton of this, but I also want to gather a whole bunch because I really don't want to do this again anytime soon probably my mentality the last time I did it and I made a whole bunch of lanterns out of it and just wasted it so we're looking at three stacks and some dust nice I'd like to get another three stacks See, that looks like something I built just that pillar but it's not familiar looking at all might be I don't know so I'm going to go ahead and skip to the next glowstone patch, and we'll be back. This looks real familiar. I wonder what that's from. I've got all this glowstone right here that I didn't do anything with. I don't know. this is from, but... Apparently, a whole bunch of glowstone that I just never decided to do anything with. Oh, I heard another one. And there's some more up here that I can easily access. So this area was familiar. I just don't remember doing anything with it. Very nice. I'll take it. Let's come back down here. Do do do. Pick up all of this. And we'll keep going. I don't hear the sucking sound every once in a while. That sound. Oh, that one's very dangerous looking. Ooh, I'm not gonna hit that back. It's okay. I hear you. I don't see you though. Come here. There you are. Wow, that was a terrible shot on my part. That one was as well. Need to lead the shots. Come on. Bad. I'm a baddie. Cool. Don't know if this one's worth me building out blocks to get it. Because this one I'm going to have to platform. That might be okay. I still have a whole bunch of cobble on me. I can afford to have a few. Use a few platforms now and then again. This is a decent sized bundle and I won't have to cut out video. So, this one wins it. Oh. Oh well. I'll use that one to pillar up. Because I'm going to need to do that. Boom. That one I won't. Uh, so, if you get to fall to my death, which is very surprising, I'm usually really good at that. Let me go 
one more there, just for safety. And fill this in. Okay, I'm actually not going to use that one to platform because I'm just going to come up here. And leap over. lost a few of them, but for the most part we got them all. Wonderful. How many do we got now? It's like two stacks and then some, so we gotta find some more. So, we'll be back. Oh, look at this one. Nice and close and full of love. So, pillar up there with this guy. Man, this one's going to be good. This will probably be all that we need. See, this thing in and of itself is probably a stack. Yeah, got it. As soon as we finish this, I can work on perfecting my... Uh, Enderman farm. Ooh, that was a bad idea. Let's, uh... That was a bad idea as well. Full of bad ideas right now. Cool. Once again, I'm terrible with ender pearls, and it should not have been given to me at all, ever. Wonderful, 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 wonderful. That is almost a stack. That almost got us a stack. Let's see if there's any others real close by we can easily access. Well, I mean, since we asked for easy access, I guess it doesn't get much easier than that. Oh, give it to me. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Okay. That's enough of that. Three stacks should honestly be good, but I really want more. So, cut to the next patch, we'll be back. Alright, we're going to delay the uh, farming of the glowstone for a little bit. And I'm going to play around in here. Hopefully, find some actual wither skeletons and that want to drop skulls for me and everything else great. Now it's nice that we've got one of these so close to our base because our base is right over there. But I saw this guy coming from a mile away. Thank you. Hey look, level up. Headshot. Ah, uh, come here while there's a skeleton. Haven't got any skulls yet, I didn't think so. Doesn't hurt to look. So it looks like there's like two different um, things in this area. Blaze spawner. Really don't want to play with those guys right now. Just personal preference. I like to avoid them when I can, but get rid of these torches. Just so that blazes and other things can spawn. Let's 
Hmm. Do I want to drink a fire resistance potion? Nah. I'll be okay. Come here, buddy. Come here. Oh, you're too tall to get through here. it was a good idea. Because <laughs> those guys are going to get on my nerves. Especially ones I can't see or that wobble up and down like this. No, I wanted to kill them with my looting sword. I don't know if looting helps wither skeleton drops or not, but it might. Who knows? I'm sure the wiki does, but who uses the wiki? <laughs> not me. I'm actually not even that concerned about getting a beacon, honestly. I just want to kill the wither just to say we did it in hardcore. So we'll run around here a little bit. things don't drop at all though. I absolutely hate them. Yeah, not going to devote any more time to that right now. That's something I can do off camera because I really don't have any fear of dying when it comes to wither skeletons. Um, glowstone, glowstone. Let's uh, head over to the other side, the entrance, and we'll check over there. Well, in my running around, I found this under the nether stronghold, or under the nether fortress. I thought it was really cool looking. There's a lot of glowstone and stuff down here I'm going to go harvest, but I just thought it was a really neat looking area. It's very uh, Lord of the Ring-esque type feel, but get up there and... uh get this we'll be back all right guys so for me being the man that I am I must admit that I am not lost <laughs> I have absolutely 100% idea where we are there's no need to be alarmed or to think for any second that we might not know where we are going we absolutely do yeah we found it we did it! We did it! Okay, cool. <laughs> but it's not this way. We are in familiar stronghold territory, though, which makes me feel a whole heck of a lot better. Of course, the stronghold is freaking ginormous. Alright, let's run back here. I don't want to play with you right now. terrain. Alright, let's get inside of this thing, get back to safety, and then work on the Ender Pearl farm. Or the Enderman farm. Oh. So, I'll see you guys in the end. That was a fun little ordeal there. 
so we'll be back in a little bit. Alright, heading back through the portal. I grabbed a whole bunch of stuff from our other base. A bunch of cobble and whatnot. So that we can wall this area in nice and safe and not have to worry about anything. So this is what we're going to do. We're going to do a nice little line around like this. And then I'm going to put glowstone on top of it. Hopefully that's not too dark. I'm sure it is. There's going to be Enderman spawning on it. So you know what? We're going to go grab the glowstone first because I don't have any on me and we'll be back. Alright guys, we're back finishing up the glowstone right now. We have 13 left after that. So next thing we're going to do is uh, finish up this cobble. The reason I wanted to do the glowstone first was that way uh, no enderman can spawn. And then it's just obviously safer. And then we can turn up all the torches on the inside and get that out of here. This is so nerve-wracking. Like, absolutely terrible. I hate, hate being out here. Because I really don't want to just keep backing up and end up, like, shifting to the side or something and falling to my death. That would be very bad. And pissing off a full health enderman would be also be very, very bad. Do it this way. All right, I'll have to remember that that's there, which I will obviously when I put the glass down. That should not be a problem. And then this I can just go until I hit water. What just hurt me? Am I suffocating myself? I have, I have to be. Wow, that's ridiculous. <laughs> Must be something with the northeast rule, because I wasn't doing it on the other side. I may have just done a better job of keeping it away from me. getting real close. Maybe this stack will finish us off. No, oh, yeah, looks like it. Wow, would you stop it, blocks? Okay. So here's what we're going to do up top. Um, I'm hoping that this works. It should. I don't see why it wouldn't that's worked up to this point so far is just doing this, just repeating this process over and over again, making full streams of water. It's right on the edge here. And this will prevent any Enderman from being able to teleport out here live and we'll do this entire process this is much safer because if I do fall at any point here I can just grab onto the water and get back up and very quickly the endermen are going to lose their ability to teleport out here so I'm going to finish this up and we'll be back alright last little bit here almost finished just a little bit more to go I think I looked at an enderman, but I guess I didn't because I don't hear the sound. <laughs> Wonderful. I like it. Um, so 
guess what I want to do is come down here and just enter pearl in. Lovely. So this entire thing is too high, so Enderman cannot get in by any means at all. And it's covered in water, so they can't teleport or spawn on top of it. And we can clear up all of these torches. And head back over to the Enderman spawner. We probably have a ton of them. And then end it up. Well, I guess I'll just end it now, since you probably don't want to see the Enderman spawner again for the 100,000th time. But next project will be to put a minecart track into here, and then we can really get some good stuff going. And I won't have to constantly be using up all my food trying to run back and forth, because that's just annoying. Um, a few precautions, though, when you are making this. Uh, make sure that there's no water on the inside here because the water will travel along the entire thing and you'll have to replace like everything and it's just a pain in the ass to do. But we are completely torchless in here now. We have all this cobble left over. Glowstone left over. And I've got all these torches left. Also, so. stack of those. I like to hold on to these. And... So, thanks for watching, guys. I did end up showing you the Ender Farm again. Um... Words of caution, again, be careful how much water you have on the inside here when you're building it. I'm building the pathway, but it works really well, there's not a whole lot of, uh, or there's no possible way for Enderman to spawn, and then I'm going to put glass around here and make it look a little bit nicer, so. Again, thanks guys, I'll see you later.